Hey there, welcome to Hard Rooster Labs. I'm one of the game developers for Automation, the car company tycoon game, and today I want to introduce you to my new Ultimate Car Body Modeling series. In this 20 part series, 20 parts, I'll show you the current state of the art for making vanilla car bodies. You should possess at least an intermediate knowledge of Blender before beginning here. If you are new to modeling and modding, I strongly suggest making several fixture mods first, including a headlight mod. Then it wouldn't hurt to make a rim mod or two. Completing these mods will introduce you to a lot of the tools you'll use for making car bodies and provide you with the necessary experience to complete your model. Making car bodies is hard and time consuming. I've made over 300 vanilla car bodies for automation and it still takes me two weeks to put together a family and all of its variants. There are a lot of steps, which means there are a lot of pitfalls to avoid and you may fall into a pit that you set you back a whole week of work if you're not careful. So please take my advice. If you're new to modeling and new to modding, start with something easier. Okay, with the gatekeeping out of the way, the first couple of videos are about finding blueprints, getting them set up in Blender, and finding good reference images. The third video is where the magic begins. I use a hard surface modeling technique that depends on a high poly target mesh to create and define perfect reflections. We use a non-destructive method involving things like subdivision surface and bevel modifiers to create a lot of the detail with a relatively simple mesh that's easy to change and iterate. In the fourth and fifth videos, we get into retopology, which is basically taking a copy of the target mesh, lowering the detail, setting it up with a shrink wrap modifier, and tagging it to the target mesh so that no matter how we change the model around, we can easily maintain our perfect reflections. The next few videos are about adding detail from glass insets to glass trim, to, to seams, to setting up uh, export materials and wheel wells, underbodies and lips. Once we get past all that, we'll be at the 12th video where we'll tackle uh, what might be the most befuddling subject for modelers and that's rigging, also known as skinning. This is the part where we make all the morphs that let you adjust the car body in game. Once we get to the lucky 13th video, it's time to export and test, and you may need to skip ahead to the 20th video for the details on how all that works. This step is critical. You need to know how your model is going to look and if there's anything that you need to fix. I consider this quality control step and I sometimes spend up to two days on it. You really want your first variant to be perfect because if you have flaws in that first variant, they'll transfer to the other variants. And it's a lot easier to fix seven flaws than it is to fix seven flaws 10 times. Once you're satisfied all is well, you'll move on to the 14th video, which is about making additional variants. Then in the 15th video, I'll cover UV unwrapping, which has some unique steps for automation. In the 16th video, we will finally make our scenes, and the technique I use prevents fixture dive, which is something you can still experience on some of the older vanilla bodies, and a lot of the mod bodies as well. The 17th video is optional. I'll talk about shape keys here, which are another way to do morphs. These are best saved for morphs that, that move in multiple directions at once uh, since bones can't do that uh, or in case where a rigged morph just breaks your reflections. In the 18th video we will set up our bounds boxes which determines things like weight, cargo, and cabin space. The 19th video is about triangulation which is something mostly unique to automation. Since we don't do any normal map faking our reflections are completely dependent on the direction of the triangles. I'll show you what triangles do and the kinds of flaws they can cause and how to fix them. And finally, we arrive at the 20th video, which is about how to export your car body, import it into Unreal, setting it up, cooking it, and how you can test it without needing to publish your mod to the workshop first. Anyway, as you go along, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you need any additional help, you can always find me on the official Automation Discord, and you can also just ask me questions in the comments below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, all right. 